today we are going to do question and answer of chapter indigo from flamingo book so here the question number one is notice this expression in the text infer their meaning from the context so here the first question is urge the departure and its meaning is insist on the going away of the british from india second one is conflict of duties the answer of this expression is clash of obligation or responsibility harbor a man like me means giving shelter to a person who is the advocate of home rule here mahatma gandhi is talking about himself seek a prop means try to find support or assistance now question number 1 from page number 47 is strike out what is not true in the following a rajkumar shukla was a share cropper he was not a politician he was not a delegate and he was not owning this land lordship fine now question number 1 second part strike out what is not true in the following b rajkumar shukla was poor yes he was poor physically strong no because we got the word emasciated from the text which means that someone is physically weak so he was not physically strong yes he was illiterate question number 2 is why is rajkumar shukla described as being resolute rajkumar shukla is described as being resolute because even after being told about the prior engagements of gandhi at kanpur and other parts across the country he does, does not quit he continues to accompany gandhi everywhere furthermore he persistently asks gandhi to fix a date for his visit to his native district of champaran his resolution and determination finally impresses gandhi and the letter complies with his request question number 3 is why do you think the servant thought gandhi to be another peasant so this is the question which we get from the text when gandhi and rajkumar shukla both went to rajinder prasad's house and he was greeted by his servant means they were greeted by Ra- rajinder prasad's servant so the answer of this question was gandhi was a simple and humble man dressed in plain dhoti to the servants he must have looked like just another poor farmer in this country moreover he was accompanied by rajkumar shukla whom they knew to be a poor indigo share cropper thus when the servants saw them both together they mistook gandhi to be another peasant right so here we are at page number 49 and the question number 1 is list the places that gandhi visited between his first meeting with shukla and his arrival at champaran answer of this question is after his meeting with shukla gandhi visited kanpur his ashram near ahmedabad calcutta patna and muzaffarpur before he reached champaran so these were the places which he visited before reaching champaran so page number 49 question number 2 what did the peasant pay the british landlord as rent what did the british now was instead and why what would be the impact of synthetic indigo on the prices of natural indigo so there are three question which are just asked in one question the answer of this question is according to the long term contract the peasant were focused to plant 15% of their holdings with indigo and pay the entire harvest as rent now with the development of synthetic indigo in germany the british landlord did not want indigo from this plantation hence the shrewd landlords decided to release the peasants of champaran from the 15% arrangement on the payment of a compensation third development of synthetic indigo would lead to an increase in the price of natural indigo so here we are at the page number 51 the question number 1 is even the event in this part of the text illustrate gandhi's method of working k 
कैन यू आइडेंटिफाई सम इंस्टांसेस ऑफ दिस मैथड एंड लिंक दम टू हिज आइडियाज ऑफ सत्यग्रह एंड नॉन वायलेंस सो आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज देर आर मेनी इंस्टांसेज इन द नेरेटिव कैन बी लिंक टू गांधीज आइडिया ऑफ नॉन कॉपरेशन एंड सत्याग्रह वन सच इंस्टांस इज गांधीज रिफ्यूजल टू अवे द कोर्ट ऑर्डर आस्किंग हिम टू लीव चंपारण इमिडिएटली बिसाइड्स दैट गांधीज प्रोटेस्ट अंगेज द डिले ऑफ द कोर्ट प्रोसीडिंग्स इज ऑल्सो एन इंस्टांस ऑफ हिज बिलीव इन सिविल डिसोबिडियंस फर्दर मोर गांधी डज नॉट फॉल्टर टू प्लीड गिल्टी इन फ्रंट ऑफ द कोर्ट ही एक्सेप्ट हिज गिल्ट बट प्रेजेंट्स अ रैशनल केस एज टू वट मेड हिम दिस ओबे द लॉ फॉर हिम ट्रूथ इज अबव एवरी थिंग एंड दस ही डिसाइड्स टू फॉलो द वॉइस ऑफ कंसाइंस एंड ओबे द हायर लॉ ऑफ अवर बींग now here we are at page number 53 and the question number 1 is why did gandhi agree to a settlement of 25% refund to the farmers answer of this question is for gandhi it was not the money but the principles that were of utmost importance he believed that the very fact that the british landlord surrendered was of more significance than the percentage of refund he wanted the poor farmers to realize that they too had rights and they need not to really live in fear of the british landlords therefore although he had initially quoted a 50% refund he later agreed to a settlement of 25% refund to the farmers besides gandhi was interested in long term solutions rather than immediate benefits his decision was proved right when years later the british landlord decided to leave their estates putting an end to the share cropping arrangement so the most important thing was that which gandhi thought at that time that uh, the share cropper they are having fear of british landlords so the must thing which was like to do was these british landlords they must come and they must um sit on their knees before these share croppers so that they can realize that they also have confidence in them and they also they can also be able to realize that they are equally having the rights which gandhi just wanted to prove it question number 2 is how did the episode change the plight of the peasants the episode of champaran brought more than one change in the plight of peasants of that district these peasants gained confidence which was evident in their spontaneous demonstration on the morning of gandhi's trial after the successful refund of the compensation the peasant for the first time realized their own rights and were liberated from the fear that had plagued them this episode brought an end to the 15% arrangement of share cropping however the most radical change that the episode brought about was in their social and cultural standard gandhi opened school in six villages his wife took pains to make the peasants aware of the importance of general sanitation and personal hygiene he even appointed a doctor page number 54 question number 1 why do you think gandhi considered the champaran episode to be the turning point in his life gandhi considered the champaran episode to be a turning point in his life because he realized that civil disobedience which had triumphed for the first time could go a long way in the freedom struggle moreover he had succeeded in making the peasant aware of their rights and becoming confident this success does prove the effectiveness of gandhi's method of non violence and non cooperation question number 2 is how was gandhi able to influence lawyers give instances so answer is that gandhi was able to influence the lawyers through his conviction earnestness and pertinent questioning gandhi reproached the lawyers of muzaffarpur for charging a large sum of money as fee from the peasants later the lawyers from bihar opined that they would return to their own places in the event of his imprisonment but gandhi made them realize that it would be imprudent imprudent for them 
being lawyer from a neighboring place to return when a stranger was ready to get himself in prison for the peasants so they agreed to follow him to jail gandhi also convicted the lawyers not to seek support from an englishman and be self reliant question number 3 is what was the attitude of average indian in smaller localities toward advocates of home rule so here we can discuss about the fact which we got there when rajinder prasad the servant greeted gandhi and the poor share cropper rajkumar shukla so during those time the average indian in smaller localities lived in fear of british they were afraid of the dire consequences of helping the advocates of home rule hence though they were supportive of people like gandhi they were afraid of showing it explicitly and only a few could actually dare to come out openly in the story we find people like professor malkani who had the courage to give shelter to gandhi on letters visit to muzaffarpur question number 4 is how do we know that ordinary people too contributed to freedom movement in the chapter indigo louis fisher writes how a small farmer rajkumar shukla from a small district champaran helps bring about a very prominent change likewise many other peasants from the villages fought courageously and contributed in their own way to the movement their cumulative effort eventually resulted in their winning the battle of champaran and to finally free themselves of the share cropping arrangements so here we are at page number 55 the question number 1 is notice the sentences in text which are direct speech why does the author use quotation in his narration so i'll tell you some few instances below are some sentences in the text which are in direct speech i will tell you how it happened that i decided to urge the departure of british it was in 1917 i am rajkumar shukla i am from champaran and i want you to come to my district speak to gandhi fix a date so there are so many uh direct speeches are used over here in this lesson in the text you can take as much as you want to get from your text okay notice the use or non use of commas in the following sentences when i visited first visited gandhi 1942 at his ashram in sevagram comma he told me what happened in champaran he had not proceeded far when the police superintendent's messenger overtook him when the court reconvened the judge said he would not deliver the judgment for several days so the answer of this question is in this sentence the comma is used after long introductory phrase so this is the question which is related with your grammar portion punctuation marks you can say it is not that much important so we are leaving this question page number 55 question number 1 is freedom from fear is more important than legal justice for the poor do you think that the poor of india are free from fear after independence the quality of a, qualities of a good leader so the very first is freedom from fear is more important than legal justice for the poor in the story gandhi make it possible for the share croppers of champaran to shed their fear of the british landlords according to gandhi freedom was fair freedom from fear is the first step towards self reliance however it is unfortunate that the poor of the country are not free from fear even decades after the independence their action work etc are still under pressure they are under the mercy of the bureaucratic system furthermore the poor live in a continual fear of the police who instead of taking care of them end up maltreating them the already poor farmers are becoming poorer because of the globalization and the craze for the foreign products this leaves them in the fear of future further destitution second is a leader is someone who leads the mind of others and convinces them into following his set of ideas and belief as such there are some qualities inherent in the persona of the leader that sets him apart from the rest 
One of these qualities include dedication to one's work. His enthusiasm is evident in his work and life and his this inspires others to follow him. A good leader is courageous in the face of adversity and is never a quitter. He motivates and encourages others, bringing out the best in them. He appreciates the effort of others and is not biased or impartial. So this is a sample we can say student they can prepare their own answer which is strongly recommended. So at page number 55 question number 1 is choose an issue that has provoked a controversy like the Bhopal gas tragedy or Narmada dam project in which the lives of the poor have been affected. So I don't think so that all these things or these questions are important. You can prepare your own answer as well. So this is the last question you will do in your homework notebooks otherwise after this question need not to write anything you can skip this question also question number two at page number 55 and uh, you can also skip this question at page number 55 question number one 